here at Microsoft Sweden, we started something we called the New World of Work. And it's about uh, giving people the possibility to be creative and to work together to reach their goals. We have an activity-based office. Nobody has their personal seat. You sit wherever you want to and you can be in the office, you can be outside the office, work from home, work from customer, work from partner, work from a cafe. Looking at an endless inbox and also looking at things that took up my time that really didn't benefit much in the long run. People are overwhelmed by activities, by opportunities, by things you can do, and then you need to prioritize. And you need to find a way of doing things at the right time, with the right quality, and have a model for it. When we decided to go for the new world of work and really redo our office and redo the way we work, we thought that this was a big transformation for everyone, and we really needed to do something different in the way we work. I think we as a company need to provide the right tools because it's a lot of responsibility on every uh, employee to live this new world of work. The whole leadership team in, in, in the Swedish subsidiary took the course in, in the five choices and tried to start using these wordings and this way of thinking on our own. And then we educated the whole management team and then everyone else in, in the organization. For me it's a lot about how I as a leader work with this to inspire my team to do the same. One thing is to have a common language, it's really important. Is it urgent? Not important? not urgent. Talking in the matrix language makes it really, really easy for people around you. Given that everybody at Microsoft Sweden is encouraged to take this course, I think that's really good. Technology, of course, at Microsoft is everything. And we have great technology. But it's not just about the technology, it's how we work with the technology. And I think Five Choices has helped us there. When people have assessed themselves, we've seen an increase in uh, personal productivity. Before, we were on 37% that actually thought they had a good personal productivity. And after, it was 81%, which is fantastic. So it has really made a difference. One of the things the five choices have given me is the ability to step back and look at things from a different perspective. So, looking from a career perspective or a family perspective, where do I want to be in one, three, five years? And seeing what do I need to change today to make sure that happens. People save about six hours per week that they say that they use for more important things that is not urgent if we compare before the training and after the training. And that's a really good result. So think about what that gives to, to Microsoft as a company that transformation that would have been very painful, going from having your own desk and having your own room where you could have the photos of your children and so on, to go to this open space office where you don't have a specific place to sit, where you come and go and, and, and do what's needed when needed. Using these techniques that you learn is very helpful because you both can manage your calendar in a better way, you can manage your stress levels. Sometimes uh, you know you really need something, you want to have a, a report or something and you can actually say that this is, I know this is a Q1 ask, but I really need it. And then it's, it's okay because sometimes we need uh, those things very fast. So just to have that language makes it so much easier. There are lots of ways that we can make technology work for us and making Outlook a productivity tool instead of working against you. Some people are telling me that they have a better working life balance. And that's really good. They think they use their time in a better way and don't feel so stressed. I'd rather talk about life balance than just talking about how I should juggle the work and life. I want to be able to sometimes take time to go and see my kids' soccer game or basketball game, do yoga for myself to get energy and refuel, but also have a job that is demanding and challenging and needs my, my, myself to be my best, the best Anna that I can be. And the five choices really helped me with that.